fine for social distance. Hi guys, so I came to do grocery shopping and we are practicing social distancing so we are actually lining up, you can see I am lining up to get into the grocery shop to do some grocery shopping and um, I will show you how we are practicing social distancing here. So there's actually a line on the floor, you can see the line on the floor and everybody has to stay in the box where um, the box are designated for the social distancing so not everybody goes into the shop at the same time so that nobody is infected. This is downtown Winnipeg and normally by this time it is super busy because it's 17 minutes past 6 but the roads are really bare like by this time you usually have traffic on this road but you can see that it's looking very 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 empty very empty it's usually very busy but because of what is happening it is very empty like totally empty but the buses are still running and on the buses you will see practice social distancing um, people are still driving people are still skating so we are not really on a complete lockdown because if we were to be completely locked down there won't be any movement but there is movement you can see people riding their bicycles people just doing whatever they want and all that hello friends welcome back to my channel my name is wolo i just came back from my grocery shopping and if this is the first time you are seeing my videos i'll say welcome thank you and just subscribe to this channel i share content about life in canada immigrating to canada and whatever you need to know about canada i love to research and um i really derive joy in searching out all these things that i know that are beneficial to people and we all know what is going on around the world i hope everybody is staying safe i'm sure you saw the social distancing i showed you when i went to do grocery shopping yeah so that's how social distancing is in winnipeg manitoba i don't know for other places but this is what we are doing right now in Winnipeg, Manitoba. With Canada, I am really much afraid because it's looking like it might extend into summer period. Um, as of today, the count of that issue, I won't mention the name, is about 17,000. And it just rose astronomically from 10,000 as at April 2nd. And by today, it's already 17,000, almost hitting 20,000 with several deaths so i pray that this issue goes away um as soon as possible so that we can go back to our normal lives today's topic is in continuation of the frequently asked questions which is occupations that do not need work permits to work in canada and all you need to do is just come to canada with your visiting visa and you are able to work without a work permit or without um, writing IELTS and evaluating your credentials and all that but I want to say this you can actually do those jobs without work permit but the moment you want to become a permanent resident of Canada you will be asked to provide the IELTS score that's your language score and also evaluate your credentials so that you can apply to become a permanent resident through the Canadian Experience class. For the occupations without work permit, there are lots of them, and I'm going to be calling them out from the um, Government of Canada website, the IRCC page. 
so that once you have the time you can go there and see them for yourself they are athletes or coach athletes or coach they do not need a work permit to work in canada aviation accident or incident investigator business visitor civil aviation inspector convention organizer crew member emergency service provider examiner and evaluator expert witness or investigator family member of a foreign representative foreign government officer or representative healthcare student judge referee or similar official military personnel news reporter or film and media crew producer or staff member working on advertisements performing artists public speaker religious leader short-term highly skilled worker short-term researcher student working off campus student working on campus so these are the occupations that do not need work permits to work in canada so out of all these occupations i have listed out um from the government of canada website i have received emails concerning pastors clergy people and muslim clerics let me just say clerics every, every religious anybody that's a religious person i've received um i think about seven emails or eight emails from this group of people asking me how they can actually immigrate to Canada. Now, this is the thing. Um, if you go to the Government of Canada website, it says that this group of people, these religious leaders like missionaries, monks, pastoral animators, bishops, archbishops, any person that is a religious leader can actually come to Canada as a visitor and then um, work without work permit. But there is a clause that you may still need to apply for a work permit um, for you to stay in Canada longer. So this is where um, it, is, it is very important to apply for a work permit after they eventually come to Canada, depending on how long they're going to stay. If they're going to stay for one year or eight months or two years, they are required to get a work permit and also so that they can get some benefits from the government of Canada. Now the question is, how do you come to Canada as a visitor if you are a religious leader and then become a permanent resident as a religious leader? For you to come to Canada as a religious leader, you need a religious organization in Canada to invite you to come to Canada. Because if a religious organization does not invite you, you cannot get a visa to, on your own to say you just want to come and visit Canada on your own. You will need the assistance of a religious organization. If you know a church or a mosque or any organization, any group that is religious and you know the leaders in Canada, you can actually contact them and, you know, relate with them, network with them, tell them that you like to visit Canada and uh, maybe do one or two religious activities while you are visiting. So when you visit Canada, it is an opportunity for you to also network and ask questions. Ask this group of people questions if there are opportunities for you to get a permanent job offer as a religious leader. There are several churches, there are several mosques, there are several religious organizations in Canada and they are all respected um, religious organizations. They are all um, acceptable religious organizations. Nobody is discriminating against anybody. Um, based on your religious organization. So you can look for this group of people that work with them and ask if there are any available opportunity um, where you can get a, let's say, a temporary job offer or a contract offer for one year or two years. And if you're able to get a contract offer for one year or two years, then you can then stay in Canada for a longer period instead of a shorter period as a religious leader. And after you have spent one year in Canada working as a religious leader, you also need to take note that you must have applied for a work permit. That means you, are, you have a valid status to be in Canada. So after working for one year, you are now eligible to apply for the Canadian Experience Class. So for you to apply for the Canadian Experience Class, you will still also need to evaluate your credential and you also need to pass the IELTS exam and these are requirements so there's no way that you can just um, say you will avoid writing the IELTS exam or 
um, not evaluating your credential and just come to Canada to expect that you get a permanent resident status. For all the religious leaders out there, if you're a pastor, if you are an imam, if you are a Buddhist religious leader, if you are a Hindu religious leader, if you are a Sikh religious leader, all the religions all over the world, all of them, wherever you are, you can actually um, come to Canada as a visitor and work without work permit. But it is best to liaise with those organizations already in Canada so that they can invite you into Canada. Because if you do not have a legitimate um, reason to visit Canada, they might not give you the visitor's visa. So you can share this video to all of your religious leaders that you know. Uh, you can inform them of this opportunity and um, yeah, so this is the information I want to share. I will also be talking about the other types of work that does not need um, a work permit to work in Canada. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Please pray for the world wherever you are. Just pray for the world so that we can get past all these issues happening around the world. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.